Okay guys, so in this video what I'm going to do is quickly go over the cipher padded issue that I had when trying to get the encrypted value back within the notification. And so when I try and decode uh, to URL in Base64, typically I would just select, uh, select the specific bytes or bits within the message and delete that and then encode it back again. But obviously when I de delete the selected bytes, uh, encode it back to Base64 and then back to the URL, and we get obviously a string back. And then when I try and send that within the request, send that within the notification, I would get a 500. And the 500 is that the input must be multiples of 16 when trying to decrypt. Uh, and the reason for that is that I'm missing part of that uh, part of that um, part of the bytes. So best way to do this is add in some nonsense, I guess. Uh, add in a diff uh, additional bytes, uh, and so obviously the example I'll show if I get the encrypted value back. Same process. D decode URL in base64. What I'm going to do here is select the 16 um, bytes here, uh, 16 bits, encode it back to base64 and back to the URL. Send that within the notification. Again, I get a 200. This time I get um, a little, little bit of the, of the front that I don't require. So just for testing purposes and uh, just show you the, the additional characters there. So if I remove the two Zs, put that back, encode it to be 60, uh, decode it back to 64 again, delete these selected bytes, encode it back to 64, back to the URL, send this once I get a 200 this time and then I get the uh, string value that I need back so if I send the get request to repeater and put within the session uh, remove the session get the state login I get the admin console so yeah it's something from Burp that made a quick change for the new version that can't select particular bytes, but yeah, it's a good way of getting around it. So it deletes using that encoded value, and you'll see at the top as result. 